everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems that help you win big every single time, and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into some NBA action for November 21st, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools that you will need to help you make your picks more successfully. So let's take a look at all the games on the schedule. There's five games for the day. The Dallas Mavericks and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers enter with the sixth best record in the Western Conference, and the Mavericks are fourth. The Clippers are burning hot at the moment, winners of five out of their last six games. And Dallas is average, coming off of a loss, and they are four and two over their last six. The score predictor has the, the Mavericks, which I wrote, win by 107 to 104 score, with confidence in, in prediction of 62%. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Dallas is at plus 24, and the Clippers are at plus 20 on a slight downward trend. And that was because of that loss before their last win, but that guaranteed that will go back up now because of that win. Um, if you look at the totals predictor, you can see here that Dallas is trending in games under the line, and the Clippers are trending in games over the line. So in this instance, I usually like to avoid the over-under because the teams are trending on opposite sides of the line. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, the consistency factor, according to the favorite underdog status, you see that the Mavericks are at plus 13, and the Clippers are at plus 8, so both teams are performing very consistently according to that favorite underdog status. I do like the Clippers to win this game at home in a tight contest, but I would avoid the over-under. The Lakers and the Pistons. The Pistons are at the bottom of the Eastern Conference, and the Lakers sit 8th in the Western Conference. The Lakers are on a two-game losing streak, however, and they lost three out of their last four. They are average down at the moment. The Pistons are average. They are coming off a win and are 3-3 three three over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Lakers are at plus 14, up and down, and the Pistons are at plus 4. The score predictor has the Lakers winning by 5 points, 107 to 102, with 54% level of confidence in the prediction. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, you can see that the Pistons have been much more consistent, according to the favorite underdog status, at plus 8, although the Lakers have been fairly stable as well at plus 3. The total predictor shows that the Lakers are trending in games right now right around the line, and the Pistons are a bit under the line. You can see the Pistons have been under since the end of October. So I believe that the Lakers will win this game. I do like the Lakers to win, but I would probably avoid the over-under in this game. The Nuggets and the Suns. This is the game of the day. Phoenix enters with the second best record in the Western Conference, and the Nuggets are fifth in the conference. You see that the Suns are burning hot winners of their last five, and the Nuggets are burning hot down. They won five out of their last six, and they're coming off a 10-point loss on the road at Dallas. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see both teams near the top of the league, which is, can be expected. Phoenix at plus 29, and Denver at plus 27. The score predictor has the Suns winning by a large margin, 121 to 107, with a almost 70% level of confidence. The scores predictor, though, you notice here that Denver has been trending under the line for the better part of, of three weeks now, and Phoenix has been trending under the line for the last month. This is a very good indication to bet the under, which would, which would go against what the uh, score predictor said. Although the, the line has not yet been set, I don't think it would be as high as 227 points. I would go with the under in this one, and I do like the Suns to win the game outright. The Knicks and the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls are a surprise team in the, the conference, third in the Eastern Conference. They're average status, coming off of a loss, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six. The Knicks are ice cold down at the moment. They are 1-5 and five over their last, or excuse me, they're 2-4 and four over their last six. The score predictor has Chicago winning by a 119-108 to 108 margin, with 40.8% level of confidence. If you go to the totals predictor, you see that the Knicks are trending in games under the line, while the Bulls are also trending in games under the line, so this is a good indication to bet the under. If you look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been, you can see that the Knicks have been very unstable at minus 2, while the Bulls are pretty stable at plus 3, so that shows that the Knicks are not performing very well according to their favorite underdog status. 
I do like the Bulls in this one. I think they will win the game. I, they're, I get, like we said before, the, the uh, line has not yet been set. But I do like um, the Bulls to win the game. And I think that the game will go under. The Raptors and the Warriors. The Warriors enter burning hot winners of five out of their last six. The Raptors are dead status. They have lost five out of their last six. You can see that in the trend the over under that uh, Golden State has been going under the line the last three games and Toronto has been over the last three games. So in that discrepancy there, as far as being on opposite sides of the line, I try to avoid the over under. It's kind of a risky proposition to do that, especially the way the trends have been. Golden State is predicted to win by a 121 to 114 score with 64% level of confidence. Um, if you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Golden State is at plus 25, while Toronto is at plus 11. How stable have the two teams been? Golden State has been, as we wait for this to come up. Uh, okay, so for some reason it's not coming up. But anyway, it was showing that the uh, Raptors are very unstable at minus three. And so I do like the Warriors to win in this one and pretty much cruise to a victory. It might even be by more than the seven points that the score prediction is showing. So take the Warriors and avoid the over-under. So those are the five games scheduled for the NBA. Happy betting. Enjoy the games. And we will see you next week.